Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Bogmod, and we are at it again. Oh, the reuniting of Josh and Estelle. He's, he's finally crying. He's finally letting all the sadness and fear and all the pain in his life out. I'll just hold you like this. Poor Joshua. It's like no one in this game is allowed to have a good, normal, happy life. Well, maybe Olivia's life is, is good. I don't know much about his past, so I can't say. Everyone else seems to have some pretty epic tragedy, though. <laughs> that was um, a little embarrassing. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, right! Here, let me return this. Oh. Seriously, Joshua, this is your only memento of Karen, right? You shouldn't just fob this off another's way of thinking, buddy. Yes. It's a bit thoughtless of me, wasn't it? I was kind of wondering. What kind of person was she? What kind of person? If you're too much met, kind was to a fault, and she had dignity born of humility. She had low, the low back then, perfect together. It's a little jealous of them as a child. Friendly, kind, and dignified. So she was kind of like Chloe then. Huh. It's a good comparison thinking about it. Karen didn't look like Chloe. She had my eyes and hair, but they were similar in spirit. A cell? Uh, nothing? Oh, speaking of Chloe, you realize you worried her and everyone else sick too, and not just me, right? Like, your dad? There's some serious grabbing to do when we get back. So, like, I do You say something like, oh, I don't have the right to go back. I'm just gonna drag you by back by your hair, okay? Sure, you're always some spy, but you didn't even know it, right? Before the bands get their shit back, was done trying to stop the society, right? Tell Dad about the side's plan. That'll make it even. That's what I call a plea bargain, right? Uh, it's not quite how a plea bargain works. Besides, you want to stop the side, you can't get back on that ship, can you? In that case, your only option is to work with us, Buster. If you had been abducted, I could have sort the glorious as I originally planned. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Well, you know, it's not like she got captured intentionally. Um, given the circumstances, she had little choice. Wait, hold on. How could you say destroy the Gloria so easily? None of the societies we're talking about. But were you really going to kill it all? It'd take nothing less to stop wise men alone. Even then, the city said they'd survive the destruction of the Glorious. For the love of... Oh, actually, I think it's for the best I got caught. You are going to do something completely crazy, Joshua. <laughs> uh, you're all, huh? Stella's being all cute and naive again, aren't you? No, not at all. It's just that you matured a lot as a person while we've been apart. Believe me, you're still a cell. That makes me happier than I thought possible. Oh, uh. About a cell? I like to Joshua saw still make my heart race. It's because he's your brother, Estelle. It's been a while, isn't it? So it gets me right there. Uh, Still? Hey, you got along pretty well with that tomboy, right? Tomboy? Oh, you mean Josette? Well, at first we had our differences. Even so, we came to understand each other pretty well by the end, I'd say. Understand each? Did you kiss her? What? Question? Answer? Give. No. Right, right. Of course it didn't. I really should wasn't like that. Oh, um, good. Well, uh, then. I don't have to kill you. Can I request a do-over that night? A uh, do-over? Oh. The, the, the first kiss is really important to a girl, you know. It was all your fault that mine got wasted. Yeah, that's true. No girl wants her first kiss to be a memory wiping drug out kiss thing culminating with also her brother leaving her and it's from her brother and it's weird so you've got to take responsibility mister 
Estelle. Oh. Oh, he's blushing! Adorable. I suppose I do. <laughs> oh. We got some Game of Thrones going on right here, but not quite as creepy because they aren't related by blood. But you know what? As, as much emphasis on blood should not be put as we do. Hey, Joshua, who could it be? Oh, it's Tomboy. Poor Tomboy. She never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. The Tomboy! What? Ah, oh, heck. You got away too, huh? So we need to stay caught. Gee, maybe I should have thrown you with them as a distraction. But I don't think they like grimy tomboys. Come on, Jacette, don't start a fight. You won't object to a brief truce, I hope, Ms. Bracer. Well, you guys did save us back there after all. So, thank you, really. We wouldn't have made it without you. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, there's no need to thank us. Alright, so yeah, I gave him a voice to die. Ah, there's no need to thank him! Yeah. I don't remember saving you. Just keep your thanks to yourself, okay? Uh, okay. We're just getting dragged off to prison after all, it looks like. Decide astray. What are your plans now? Huh? You can't ask again if you wanted to come with us, but... I think it looks like we don't even need to ask, huh? Yes, forgive me. I'm pretty certain how things will go from here. But now, though, we'll be traveling with Estelle. Joshua! Ah, I see! Oh, Josette. Ah, oh, whatever. At least there's still a chance. What? Joshua, remember! You can tell Miss Airhead over here. Just come on back to us. Here's a place in the Bobcat, okay? On the Bobcat. In the Bobcat! She might be referring to herself. On her. On her, maybe. Walk over here and come in ahead one more time, you greasy tomboy! Thank you, Josette. Don, Cal, I love you so much. Hey, that's our line, lad. Good luck. Stay safe. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. Oh, Josette. I hope you find someone good. Joshua will not be the man for you. Hello, black corner of the screen. Goodbye! Estelle. What is it? You said that the enemies you've made are overwhelmingly powerful. You were captured primarily as bait to learn me out, I suspect. That way the glorious wouldn't be destroyed in Wiseman's absence. Oh! To be honest, I probably could have saved the ship after kicking our bodies into the sea. First the reason he did was out of pity. Pity how weak I was, I mean. All of the enforcers are the same. So the pure power, they're all masters, far stronger than me, even Rene. Pickle will probably be the hardest fight of our lives. Yeah. Yeah, but you still got her dad. And he's worth, like, all of them, maybe? But I do promise. I promise I won't ever run from reality again. Walk with you until the very end. Joshua. I promise too. Till the very end. Ooh. Chapter 6 done. So I guess. Wow. I guess that's comparatively a much shorter chapter. The whereabouts of Bulge. Sure. Let's. Oh. Why don't it save there? Alright. Whatever. It saved there I guess. Well, this is Blue Blanc. Well, the device is in place. I we at the beginning of the ceremony? I should give them a voice. Hey, they should all have voices. They're super evil villains. Oh, 
Oh, this is a dire wolf. Oh, all done here. <laughs> Hurry up and get this started. Except for her. This is Bewitching Bell. The bed is in place. Look at those little things they've slapped onto the consoles. Big pulsing with a big red bulge. Hee <laughs> hee! Run out here! I'm ready! We can start whatever! Meanwhile, the moment is upon us. Let us begin stage three of the plan. Ariole, sealed in the darkness where Septium's light does not reach. May you gaze upon a poor material world through your gospel. Ooh. The organ's coming out again. That's never a good sign. Maybe the Oriole is like the devil? Maybe? Gaze upon these four pillars. They are the final shackles that bind you. Simple they may appear to be, but know that their purpose was long shrouded by the decree of man. With hands which bend the will of all, reveal their true form. Their true form? What's going on? Hmm. Um. Magic is afoot. She appears far too unconcerned about what's going on. I can't help but feel that maybe behind all this there's some sort of secret plan. It's going to be one of those, the only way to keep man from fighting is to kill everybody. Or something horrible like that. Ladies, gentlemen, our blessed celebration is ready. Now go. Enjoy it to your fullest. Ah, excellent. We the Enforcer of Ouroboros. <laughs> oh, my own of an anxious. <laughs> we shall now liberate you of your shackles. Da, da, da. The Tetracyclic Towers. Chapter 7. How many chapters is there? No. Just have to keep going, I suppose. Meanwhile, at Gransel Castle. And that is the situation as it stands, and all the information gathered on board the Glorious. Mm, this is like looking into the bar of madness. To think a monster of a ship like that is not too liberal. What could they possibly plan to do with something so powerful? Unfortunately, I did not manage to learn the details of the Gospel plan. I do know they've already begun the next phase of it, though. I said the third stage of the plan is ready. It's getting ready to start, but that's about it. Ah, uh, the situation is grim. General Morgan, has the army begun to plan a response? Uh, these two, as might be expected, contacted Cassius last night before coming to us. It's just put the entire army on a state of high alert. We have the entire aerial fleet in the air, but during the width and breadth of the kingdom now, Your Majesty. See, very good. Thank you, Estelle, Joshua. Thank you very much for your hard work. No, no, it's nothing. We just did the right thing, you know? To be honest, I should have approached you much earlier. I apologize for my earlier behavior, especially the theft of the airship. Wait, Joshua! It's alright, Estelle. I'm prepared for whatever punishment they deem fit. Hmm, Your Majesty, what should what shall we do with him? Yes, I believe we'll have to bend the letter of the law to match its spirit in this case. The you monsters! Bending the letter of the law to match its spirit? Oh! Mm. 
I love the information on the side of your bros, Josh Rastre. I'm willing to pardon you for your past deeds. Really? But, your majesty, doing what the spirit of the law intended rather than strictly adhering to its, the letter of the law like, like, automatons? Madness. It is all right, Joshua. To be honest, an orphan of Hamel deserves a far greater recompense than a queen's simple discretion. Yeah, not from you, though. It should be his government that is down on their knees begging for his forgiveness. Oh. Mm. As I managed, you do know. That I know of the massacre, I have remained quiet about it until now. What? It's true. Uh, as terrible as the thing is, from a practical standpoint, the revelation... Ooh, there would be there would be massive political fallout, not just internationally, but within the, its own country. Spark a massively violent revolution. What do you mean? Uh, the Hundred Days' War began with a furious declaration of war from Erebonia to Libya. It was given on the basis that the butcher at Hamel was conducted by Libya's armed forces. That was according to the treaty that ended the war. The Emperor retracted the accusation. On the grounds that neither side would ever, under any circumstances, speak of Hamel again. Just like Lao said. Once I consider the circumstances, I could, if vaguely, see what had happened in the Empire. Harry, though Cassius' counterattack had gained a signal of victories, they were not committed the bulk of its military invasion of Liberal. They returned with the greater part of their army. After realizing that, I agreed to their conditions. Ah, interesting. Yes. Practical, practical demands. Oh. I chose to prioritize my nation's safety over the pursuit of the truth. I destroyed any hope of the victims who were lost in the shadows had for justice. In those words of Lieutenant Lawrence, that Leonard said to me, You are hardly qualified to feel pity for me. He was absolutely correct. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please, do not blame yourself. You had no connection to the massacre, and the safety of your entire nation was at risk. As a ruler, you made the right decision. Joshua. This land of liberals is my home. It is the place that mended my broken heart. I don't hate you for choosing to protect your majesty. I thank you for it. Joshua, yeah! Then again, the revelation about what the Erebonia had done could probably have drawn in the, um... Uh... The Calvard Republic. Mm. But then... That would just make liberal into the battlefield that the two na the two powers would fight over, and in. And neither side particularly wanted that, I imagine. Hmm. All right, let's let's take a little break here. We'll continue the scene next time, and we'll see what happens. <laughs>